Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. And I've got another demonstration for you today on one of our database templates. So I have www.microsoftaccessexpert.com open here. We'll go ahead and scroll on down on the left side and look for the database templates. And today we're going to look at the employee license tracking database. So we'll find that link and click on it. It is important to notice that we do have a couple of different versions of this database template. We have one for internal use. You can purchase that and use it as many times as you want within your organization. We also have a developer version, which allows you to use the database in any of your development projects and distribute it as you see fit. We also have a compiled runtime version. This version only comes with the compiled version of the code. You get all the features in the standard version, but you will not be able to make any modifications modifications to that system and you also have the ability to still distribute that without the modifications. The next item we have here is the demo version which works with Access 2007, 2010, and 2013 and that's what we're going to look at today. So I'm going to right click on the link and say save link as. I'm going to select uh, my desktop to save that and we can see it's downloaded here so I'll go ahead and close that out and we won't need our browser anymore so I'll close that out as well and here on our desktop is a compressed zip file if you need help working with zip files I'll include a link to a video in the description below but for right now I'm just gonna say extract all and we'll go ahead and click extract and here is our database template demo for employee licensing. I'll go ahead and double click on that. You may get a security notice when you first open the, the demo. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video. There is a link to how to deal with trusted locations warnings in the description below if you'd like to see how to get rid of this message. For right now I'm going to go ahead and click open and you'll see that you get uh, some information on the demo. It does tell you that this is a demo version of the software, that uh, if you try to enter information, save the database, close the database and reopen the database, that information will be gone. You'll have to purchase a full version of this database template from our website to actually be able to store information. There's also a couple of quick links here to get to our website, to email us, or to contact us via Messenger, Skype, or our online chat. You can also click the Contact Us to get a Contact Us form if you prefer. We'll go ahead and close out of that. And The first thing we're going to do here is look at our main form and look at some of the maintenance forms that we have for our database template. I'm going to go ahead and click on the maintenance and lookups button there and this will bring us to the lookup maintenance form which we have the ability to set up various departments we have a couple of examples in there for you. We can also set up employees, give them a code. We can also select the department that they are in. We can view and set up their licenses or we can select whether they're viewed on the calendar. The next item we have here is the different license types. This could be for various versions of software that you have and have installed on various computers and selected employees for those licenses to be used by. And we also have the ability to set up locations. This is if you have multiple offices and you want to track which offices have which uh, employees and which employees have various licenses. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Our next setup form is the calendar setup form, which we have the ability to set the first day of the week. We can set that any day, through Sunday through Saturday. We also have whether we set the calendar to view in the week view or a full uh, a work week view or a uh, full week view. We'll leave that at full week. And we also have the print type, which we have set at landscape. You can also set towards uh, uh, portrait if you like. We also have the uh, ability to print the detail, print the color on our reports uh, set for each employee, or show the location in the day and, and week view. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and we'll try adding a license entry here. We'll go ahead and select employee 1. The license type is license type 1 and we'll select the location as location 1. And the, loc the date that the license was granted, we'll say that's the first. Uh, we'll say that this is a one-year license, so we'll go to the first of the next year. 
and the license number we'll just make something up here just type in randomly and we'll say that this is a Photoshop license this could also be uh, for uh, licenses given to individual uh, employees we'll go ahead and select a custom color so we can show you that on the calendar we'll select green Go OK you get a preview of the color on this form we'll go ahead and click save and close and now what we'll do is look at uh, the ability to view our entries which we can either search for licenses or we can look at the calendar view we'll start by searching for licenses you do have the ability to select a license type a location a start date end date or a particular employee to filter by you can also clear and we'll start by going to person one will run a search and as you can see it brought up the license that we entered and you have the ability to export your search results either to Excel or Outlook uh, if you export to Outlook you can either do it as a calendar entry or a task entry you also have the ability to print a detail or print a summary We'll take a look at the print detail you can see there person one ha at location one has this license when it, it was passed and when it, it expires We'll go ahead and close out of that, and that is the search form, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. And now we'll look at the calendar view, which is starting out in the day view. We also have the ability to view by week. Bi-weekly or monthly, and from the month view here, we have the ability to see when the uh, license was granted, which if I select uh, by date granted, we'll see that on the 1st of January there. We can also go by date expires, which we won't see unless we jump to the next year. And I'll go ahead and do that just so we can see the date that that expires. And you can see there's the license expired date. You can also print this in either of the uh, viewing formats. We'll go ahead and close out of that. And the last option we want to look at here is the ability to export this information either as a calendar or task for Outlook. We can select an individual person to export. We also have the ability to import a calendar or task item and select the person that we would like to import that for. So that kind of concludes this database template demo. Fe feel free to give us a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Join our cir circle on Google Plus or contact us if you need any development for a current project using a database template of ours or from scratch. You can also contact us for development on a new project, whether it uses our database templates or it's just another one from scratch. Please feel free to contact us for any of your access development needs. Thank you and have a great day.